Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As always, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Enjoy. It's the dawning of the 20th century. The major powers of Europe are in the process of divvying up the last fragments of the world map among themselves. At long last, the German Empire wants a place where it can bask in the limelight too. It sees its chance along the Bosporus, where temperamental Sultan Abdul Hamid II rules over a vast territory. Time for the Germans to secure the biggest infrastructure project in all of Asia Minor. The Legendary Orient The Kingdom of a Thousand and One Nights Where milk and honey flow The Baghdad Railway is the key to the Orient. It will give the German Empire access to valuable resources. The railroad project is going to be financed by Deutsche Bank, a German bank. You're supposed to make sure that nothing fishy goes on on site. A railroad from Baghdad to Istanbul, brought into being via sound German engineering skill. A bold venture. As long as the project doesn't make a profit, the Sultan has offered to offset any losses with his tax revenues. Needless to say, one is only too glad to help local agriculture increase its earnings. Make sure that grain production develops beneficially. At the same time, it guarantees funding for the Baghdad Railway. Thanks to your logistics support, food production is soon going to gain momentum. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're connecting uh, Baghdad up to the rest of the world, to Istanbul. Looks like. Istanbul's this end of the map by the look of it. Oh, sorry, no, Aleppo's over this end. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be coming from Aleppo through a down there down to uh, Aregli, Konya, I believe. Well, let's have a look what it wants us to do to start with. Liver food from the surrounding city so the food factory expands. Okay, so we need to get food. So there's a grain farm there, a grain farm here. We need to get that food flowing, so I think. We'll start off with some trucks. Actually, we've got 74 million. Do we just go straight away and get the uh, get the grain coming in by rail? Probably the best way, isn't it? What I want to do is try and get this connected to the road here. With enough room at the end so we can turn again. There we go. We'll only need a smaller station at the end here. Just for, or I'll tell you what, we'll truck it into the city there, and we'll truck it into the city there. We'll just get the grain coming in via train just to make it all a bit smoother. Start off with one grain farm should probably enough. And to be honest, for the distance it is, we could probably just hook that straight in there. We will need a, a rail depot to get the trains out of. So we'll stick that in there. Bring this alongside and into the track there. It shouldn't cause us too many problems. We're only going to need the one train for now. We'll get that moving. Have a look what we have available. For this short journey, I don't think we need anything too big. We'll go for the PLM 200 and then we are shipping grain. So we need the right car, which is a gondola. You can see that carries grain. We get the capacity up to about. We'll go for eight. It's mediocre, but we're not expecting it to get up to full speed on this line anyway. Your legendary fellow countryman, Karab and Nemzi, crosses your path. What a splendid coincidence. Accompany the fearless adventurer and stand by him with advice and support. It looks like that's the first bonus task, guys. We'll have a look at that in a second. I do just want to finish this route. So we'll set this up to get a full load, the maximum waiting time at the grain, and then we'll get it dropped off at the factory there. And then this will be uh, grain to 
battery line. But that should start as soon as we unpause the clock. Oh, the other thing we need to do is I'll just extend the distance here. We need the two platforms. And then we need a truck drop off point for the food in the town here. So we'll go there. And then another one here. And if we stick it there, does it cover the majority of it? It does. We'll also need a road depot. And it might be better actually to stick that out of the town. We stick that down somewhere here. And we'll pop it on the end here. And then we need the two lines for those two different bits. So we'll have one line coming from here and getting a full load. And that's going to drop it off over there. So that's food delivery one. Then we need another line coming from here. It has chosen the other terminal there, which is important. So they're not waiting for the same terminal. We want him to deliver there. And that's going to be food delivery. We just need to put some vehicles on each of those lines. So anything that can carry food, either of these, but we'll go for the faster ones. And I think we'll just put four on each. So if we say four for food delivery one. And we want four for food delivery two. And now if we unpause and let that start going, it should start. It should start producing food and sending it out, and hopefully this will upgrade, so we'll pin this so we can keep an eye on the food factory. And we'll have a look at this bonus task, so we'll accept it. Oh no! Sir David Lindsay, your countryman's English travelling companion, has caught the dreaded Aleppo evil. A horrible sore is running riot on his already sizeable nose. A desert herb is said to cure it but the plant can only be found at very specific altitudes. Split three snakeweed bushes at an altitude between 200 and 300, between 220 and 230 metres, OK, so we're going to need the contour lines here. We're going to have to figure out a way of finding the 220 and 230s here. How do we collect them? And so have a look what it means by snakeweed bush. It looks like there's a lot of a lot of bushes here. If we go to where is two twenty and two thirty? is zooming me into this area here so i think it's going to be something around here looks like this is another one of the puzzles that we have to find i'm not sure how we can tell where to, oh here we go height at the cursor it's telling me here so between 220 and 230 so that's this band here across this band we need to find some bushes. How do we... How does it want us to dig those? Is it the same as in the other missions? Where we have to dig them out. No, it doesn't look like it. Do we need to delete them? Is this a snakeweed bush? Bad yeah, luck in yeah. spades. The Henry rifle and the double-barreled bear killer have disappeared. Track down Caraben Nemzi's precious weapons and bring them back. I was just heading back to the food factory. The guys had stumbled across the next one already, so so we found him in a regular. It wouldn't have been too Holy hard to find. Holy Your faithful companion, Hadji Halef Omar, was taken captive by a savage desert tribe. Rescue him. We need to deliver food to the desert tribe. Oh, wow. That's definitely going to be a train line, isn't it? Uh, I think we'll go for... 
Can we sort of connect in? Is there a road connection here? Is there? Yeah, there we go. Can we connect that up? I'm not sure if this is going to let us. Oh no, we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to go through the desert here. Okay, right. So we'll have to do it by. We'll have to actually have to do it by truck then. So that's me jumping the gun there, guys. Apologies. We'll get rid of all that track that we just put down, and we'll just have to set up a, a road connection. So we want some kind of country dirt track. Oh, not like that. It's, it is weird sometimes how the tool, the road tool works. You see that it's hooking off at a really strange angle for some reason. We want that down there. We need a, we'll just put a drop off point here. And we need some food. So what I'll do is I'll just add another, another cargo terminal over this side. Doesn't say how much food does it now, so... I'll put two carts on just in case one isn't enough. It's gone from the new section there, which is fine. We'll go for a full load. We want that to go all the way over to be delivered here. So that is food delivery to... Uh, where is it going to? We'll just put two cam. There you go, that'll do. So we'll hit, we'll hit the fast forward and we'll get the time going. Right, now that's ticking over guys and we're waiting for a few things to happen. We can have a little bit of a chat. Uh, first of all, apologies for the length of time between the episodes. With it being over, over the Christmas period, I have had a lot going on and I've actually had a lot going on with work as well. Um, so I've hopefully now I've managed to sort of settle it down and we'll be able to get back into the swing of things. I do want to carry on with the East Yorkshire series as well. I just thought this will be a quicker one for me to just fire out there quickly for you guys. I did release a short yesterday. You might have seen um, just with an updated mainline trains guide. So check that out if you haven't already. But later on today, I plan on filming the well, recording for you guys, the next in the series of the East Yorkshire series. So that'll be out soon as well. It is just uh, a matter of time now, but we should be getting back into the swing of things. We are just waiting for this to level up now, but we just need to make sure that by the time this train gets back, he's still got a little bit of grain. If he's running out, then we need uh, we need more grain coming in. We need this factory to be constantly producing. We haven't got a problem with shipping at the minute. All the vehicles are waiting there. I am just going to turn off, as always, the funds coming up from the vehicles. It is just one of the things that annoys me, especially the, the costs, because it's because it's constant as they're driving along the roads. You just see all the little price fluctuations constantly. So with that now running, we are delivering food to those two. It does say here, actually, delivering two. So it's a good job we put those two trucks on. I believe they hold five each, they do. So once those two have dropped off at the camp, it looks like uh, quite an arduous journey this actually through the through the mountains here. We follow along with this vehicle and see just how rough the terrain is. These old vehicles are really cool though. I believe, and I'll check in a minute actually, but I believe these vehicles, these these can stats were steam powered. I think it says in the description when you're buying them from the depot. Well, these might be the one of the first motive ones actually it might be the uh, the passenger ones that i always absolutely butcher the name of it is it a lobby song french thing that's definitely a steam powered one but yeah this looks pretty cool it reminds me of one of the maps i played uh, offline a canyon map but i didn't have anything quite this cool going through It'd be cool to see some sort of uh, big semi semi trucks or you know arctic lorries driving through here slightly wider road and a bit more traffic coming through, I think that'd be really cool.
So let me know, guys. Don't forget down below. This is the last, um, the last chapter of the campaign for series one. So, or chapter one. It's the last mission, if you like. Um, so I haven't played anything past this point. I have done this one before. It was a long time ago now, so I can't really remember it. Um, but after this, I was was when I thought, you know what, I'd make a good series, and I started to record them. So I haven't actually played Chapter 2 at all, so if you would like me to play through that and watch me play through it, then please uh, just drop me a comment down below, or just, you know, let me know however you fancy. Uh, drop me a comment, like the video, just just so I know that people are, are interested and are liking the videos, and that just makes me know that I'm not wasting my time then and making the next ones. Now, I do enjoy making these videos, but there is, a, you know, extra time outside of me just playing the game and sitting here talking while I'm doing it. It does have to all be edited and uploaded to YouTube, and it does take a considerable amount of time, really. And I'm happy to do that, obviously. It's just uh, if nobody's really interested in it. I'd rather spend the time doing it for something that people do want to watch. I'm still in two minds whether to do the, the tram-only series. I keep having a look on the Steam Workshop for mods now and again. I've seen a tram mod so you can have freight trams. I'm just, I'm not too sure so as you get later on in the years. I know there's a few Steam ones I've seen in pictures on the mod. I'm not sure when you get later on down the track, say you get to the year 2000 or wherever late on, is it still possible to do it with the more modern trams? Can they still carry freight? Or are we still going to be lugging freight trams around? That's the only concern I've got. Because if that's the case, what I may do, is I've seen that somebody else is doing a passenger-only series, and I was thinking I could just do a passenger-only tram series. Just so we are sticking I just think it's because everybody plays the game and thinks, oh, it's really easy once you've got a train. Cara Ben Nemzi Effendi is deeply indebted to you for your services. Yeah, basically, because it's once, you, once you've got to that point and your, tram, your, your trains are all up and running, you've got one profitable, say, oil or food line, it's sort of game over. And then I know that's when the game sort of begins in a different way because you can start designing things how you like. But I just think it puts a different spin on it. So let me know what you think about that as well, guys. But looks like we've got the next bonus task rolling in anyway. Oh, no, that one's just finished. It's finished that one off. I thought it was going to roll into something different. But I believe now... Is this still going to demand food? If it isn't, we can delete that line. Consumers. I believe that. Is that the Western Desert Drive? It is. There we go. So that's still demanding for you. So we could actually put an extra couple on there if we wanted to. But do we really need to? Probably not. I think what we're going to do for now is just double track this line. And we're going to double up on trains here just to make sure that the food. Thanks to oh, your help, it's done it already. Friends. The Sultan is collecting a tidy sum in taxes, and those taxes, in turn, guarantee that you'll be paid. Now, the most challenging part of the route lies before you. The Taurus Mountains block the way to Aleppo, like the jagged back of some primeval monster. But you've overcome every obstacle so far. Many hands will be needed to conquer this compact but rugged mountain range. The best thing would be to hire enough people on both sides of the mountains. Right, okay guys, it looks like this, I, don't, I didn't notice this railway before, it looks like this has just appeared. But it wants me to bring workers from Konya to Aragli. Okay, so that's easy enough done. We'll just stick a... Because the aim is to build a railway through here, I'm going to set up for that now, really. So we're going to stick the station just on the outskirts of town there, and then we need to connect this guy up. I want to pull that out straight and flat, and then I'll put in a little branch there because we are going to two-track this. And then from here now I want to come up past this farm, Keep the speed to 75 where we can. We, because these are passenger routes, we will be having the fastest trains we can on here. So I want to just keep it at 75 like that. Now the inside line you always find is the one that's going to go slower. I don't mind that last one being 69, just as it slows down into the station. That's fine. 
for now this train's going to need to come back so I'll put another cross over just here we want to keep the pace up there if we can it is just coming out of the station but 70 mile an hour will be fine there stick a signal on either end just to future proof it I will just stick another set of signals in the middle there and then of course we are going to need Rain Depot. So we'll stick one of those just uh, outside the city of Konya here. I did just have to check the name of the city there. But my memory is absolutely terrible, guys, so bear with me with that. Okay, so then the passengers will go for the... Again, with it being the campaign, guys, money's no issue, so we might as well go for the fastest thing we can. Um, and the speed is 62 miles an hour on the A35. So any of these carriages the same. I'm just looking at the weight here, so that one's considerably... Ah, oh, that's a carriage for the Sultan, so that looks like that'll be for another mission coming up. I know that's not a standard uh, in-game train, so... But now we'll run that through. Is this station connected? It, the residential it isn't, so I think we're going to need to do bus routes by these stations as well. We'll put one outside the station there. Come down to here. Along here. Come up this central street. Then that'll come back in. That'll be fine there. Set up that line just so we can drop the passengers off at the station. There we go. So we've got a nice circle around the city. And this is going to be the Konya bus. We'll use the road depot that we've already got out here for passengers. Ah, uh, this is the one that I was on about, guys. Actually, I'll show you now. We'll put five of those on there. This is the one that the lobby on. I believe it's that. Please tell me if I am absolutely butchering that. But you can see the little steam tank at the back. These are really cool. The early vehicles really are cool in this game. Right, okay, so we've bought the. We'll be bringing the workers from Konya to Aragli. Whereabouts in here do they need to be? We might need another bus route in here as well. We'll just do another sort of small loop around the town. Ah, oh, that's the train, isn't it? Onya to Bregley. The service. didn't mean to do that so we've got well we need to set up a new line yeah that was the right thing I want to go from the train station in the loop around the town that we've just put in and this is the Aregli uh, Aregli bus I was going to put loop on the end there but there's no need really and then similarly on here we'll get another five is that the right pronunciation for that guys lobby sans Lobby Sant. I believe it is, but I am probably absolutely butchering it. It's, I did learn French at school, but that was a, a while ago. So we've connected Konya with Regli, Aleppo with Adana. From Aleppo to, so they've given us another, another start off rail here, to Adana. And again, because I believe they're going to make us go through the mountain, I'm sort of going to, I'm going to preempt this. It is a while since I did this mission, guys, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's where it made us go next. I mean, it can be uh, quite a long one, this, so with you guys in mind, I want to try and get through it. You know, I don't want us to be waiting ages for things to happen. Okay, well, it doesn't like that. I'm sure I can come to somewhere like this. That's just going to be straight through the desert, so it'll be fine. We need to connect back to the road that it's got the issue with. I wonder if we come straight out. No, it's not liking that at all. So it looks like the city's actually built that road after it had put this station in. Has that connected? No, it hasn't. Got we check. There we go. And again, for this, I can't remember which side of this station I came into. There we go. 
we will just put the the cross over there now and then just double track it all the way down to Aleppo we're going to need a cross at this end because Aleppo only has the one station at the one platform even not liking that though stick a couple of signals on here as we did before another couple roughly halfway and then one before the crossover there and then we're going to need another rail yard otherwise known as a depot and then we'll connect this one into the line I always like to put a signal at the end of the run there so that if we ever do get more trains, they give way to what's already moving along the line. And then we want a new line. We want to go from Aleppo to Adana. Okay, and then similarly, it looks like the mission's ticked off now because we've had some people on the train. So this one is in range of some residential, I believe. Looks like it is. Has it got any residential? Tiny bit at that end, but it might be worth us just sticking a quick bush right in here just to speed things up. That'll do for here. The town's not that big. We stick a road depot in. We can get a couple of those labissants. I think three will do here because it's a small run. And we just want to go from the station. No, that's the train route. From the bus stop to that bus stop. And this is a left over bus. And then the same thing this side, we're definitely going to need bus stop here because of how far out we've decided to build this. We're going to need another road depot again. And on here, I'm going to go hard here and have 10 of these just because it's quite a long route for buses this. That might be overkill, actually. I did forget to name the line there, didn't I? That is the Adana bus. I mean, we have realistically only got to bring the workers from Aleppo. You can see people are already waiting at these bus stops. So that should, should mean that we start to get people waiting on the train line soon. If that train hasn't already got people, it hasn't. One bus is about to drop off here, though. Doesn't look like that's got anybody. This might be the first one here to pick up some passengers. It has picked them up. We've got no more bonus missions yet. So we'll just follow on this vehicle. I'll have a quick sip of my tea. Those of you Brits out there will understand you can't beat puppy Yorkshire tea. I had someone try to tell me the other day that Thai food was better, but... It's Honestly, it's not for me. I know a lot of it's down to personal preference and what you grew up with, but... There we go, we have got a first passenger here, whether he will... Whether this will count for us. I don't know about you guys, but I do seem to find myself playing this game fast forward quite a lot. The majority of the time, I'm sort of on fact. I'm either on pause while I'm building something or then I'm on fast forward and it's rare that I actually sit back and enjoy the game. I'll enjoy the scenery of the game even though I do really like it and I think it's good. I just find myself always wanting to do the next thing. Work in the mountains is only progressing slowly. Access to the Mediterranean would prove to be extremely useful. A branch line already runs from the port town of Mersin to Adana. It would be advisable to buy it up. Instead of begging for credit from your superiors, you might as well purchase the line all by yourself. That will certainly make an impression back home. 
You ought to pitch camp on the other side of the Taurus at the branch line's last stop. Ah, oh, okay. Let's have a look what it says. Build a headquarters in Adana. So what we need to do is click on our finances down here. Headquarters at the top and build. And then we'll find out where do we want to go in Adana. It doesn't really matter. I think we'll go slap bang in the middle here. Silver has been found in the oh. mountains. <laughs> this enables Maybe you to finance the branch line it. to the sea using existing funds. Your superiors in Germany will be oh, seriously bad, impressed. It wants us to deliver 20 silver ore to the headquarters. And I just noticed as, as that was talking that the silver mines over here. I honestly didn't plan that, guys. I'd completely forgotten that that was a thing, but it works for me. Okay, and we put the road depot here before. So we need some cargo and it's silver ore. It says 20, so we'll just go for four trucks. We'll have a new line. We want to go from the silver mine. Make sure these are full because we need all 20 delivering. Deliver it to the headquarters. There we go. And that is silver delivery. Watch those guys roll out. It's an absolute game changer when you progress through the ages and you have um, bus lanes as well. You'll see every time one of these stops, everybody gets stuck behind it. But as soon as, as, soon as you get those, I mean, four lane streets work a little bit because people can go around, but they still cause a fair bit of congestion. I'm not sure why all of these vehicles are going to this one first. I'll just manually turn a couple of these rounds to save, save them the weight. There we go. Hopefully silver's already waiting. There's 95 silver waiting, so that's not an issue. As soon as those guys get back, that'll be that one complete. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, I tend to find myself always looking. Even more so in the campaign mode, to be fair, because you've always got tasks that you need to do. But I tend to find myself, even in the main game, focusing on the next thing that I want to accomplish, whether it's putting a new route in or upgrading a line or changing some vehicles or whatever it is, I tend to either be paused while I'm making changes or then in fast-forward mode, watching it come to life and watching it happen. And I, I never seem to just press play and just enjoy the scenery. I've done it a few times with a, a few of the shipping routes. I tend to find they're quite therapeutic and then, you know, I'll do a run around sort of a main line, especially with the Flying Scotsman or something like that, you know, but I also like the, some of the mods for the, the Virgin Pendolino and stuff like that. If you are interested in, the, in things like that, have a look through some of the, the short videos that I've got on my channel. I've got some decent mods with some, uh, some Class 142 Pacers, the Virgin Pendolino mod. There's a few different bits and bobs that you can have a look at. Those videos are only sort of 20, 30 seconds long. But there's some cool ones. And if you guys know, by the way, of any any good add-ons for the game, do let me know. Or any any just uh, really nice skins for any of the trains or anything like that. Because I'm always interested in looking at the new ones. I don't seem to have at the minute a lot of um, tram skins. That's something I need to look into if we're going to do this tram series. But I do want to just sort of gauge the feedback from you guys first to see if anybody wants to see that because if you don't there's no point in me sort of spending all the time doing it as you can see the ore's starting to roll in here now 8 out of 20 this is one one of the things that I have noticed about the campaign is so all four of these trucks have come down all load we told them to wait until full which they did they all carry five but only 11 of it's coming and getting delivered now the only thing I can think is that this town is swallowing up some of it in other places Usually that's the case, so say if we need to drop food to this building, and we got here, if some commercial buildings were in range of this truck stop, they would eat some of the food up. But that's not the case, so I, I don't know where this other nine ore in this case has gone to, because it's all been dropped off at this truck stop. But because they've dropped 11, I'm hoping when they come back again this time, now they'll have 11 again. So that'll take us over that 20 mark. You just double check and make sure I am telling the truth here but yeah I'm trying to click the one I've already got so yeah this guy's got five this guy's got five 
Are you going to pick five? He is, he's going to pick five. And then is this our last solar truck? It is. Is he going to pick up five? He is. And then that's the guy delivering food out to the camp. So all of these guys are now carrying five. So when this first one gets to the headquarters, I want to see what this number goes up to. I'm pretty sure it isn't going to go up to 16. But I really don't understand why. There doesn't seem to be any reason for it. I don't know if because it's been dropped off as a raw material and that isn't something that normally happens, whether in the background it's coded as something else. It might be that the game sees it as food or something. See, that guy's just dropped five off and we're still sitting at 11 here. He's dropped another five off and it's counted for two. Oh, no. It's counted for four. It's for, what were we on? 11. I can't remember what we were on now. So we're up to 16 now after dropping off another 15. This guy's dropping off, we're up to 18. And yes, yeah, we're going to have to wait again for another, the other trucks to come back again, which to me, I just don't understand why. If I'd have known that in the first place, you know, we've got all the money in the world here, I could have easily have just banged some more vehicles on, but because now these guys are already on the way up, by the time I've got some more vehicles from here, it's, it's pointless me adding more in now. But if you guys know why that's happening, please do let me know. Because it, it, it's a strange one to me. They're not even, you know, coming back the other way with any or anything like that. So they're just being swallowed up. It has consumed 18, it says there. There must be something else in this area. It can't go on the train because we only have passenger carriages. According to the, the town overlay here, the only the need is food. It's not getting food, but I'm guessing shouldn't have clicked that really but I'm guessing now that because it needs food we're going to be bringing the food down from Kanye and Eregli aren't we that's what's going to happen and down here you can see that they want is that silver silver into machines so that's going to be a thing we're probably going to need to take the silver all the way down that's not too much of a big deal to be fair we can make that work Oh, well, there's already a train line here. Wonderful. The silver mine is yielding enough to buy the branch line. Quite the railway line. The Sultan civil servants. Oh, that is that line. No matter how oh, small the request, each time they expect a favor in return. For instance, for assuring that none of your merchandise disappears. The other nuisance are the Brits. They constantly snoop around near the oil drilling sites. You ought to sick a couple of savage desert tribes on them. That'll keep them busy. Whether Bedouin tribes or civil servants, they all have one thing in common. Put enough silver in their hands and they're very cooperative. All your wishes will come true. What a surprise. The Brits, the Brits are there sniffing around the oil. So we need to deliver 20 silver ore down to the port here. It looks like there's already got a train on that. And I've noticed there's already some of our silver, there's already 10 silver sitting at this station. So how is this silver getting to this Traces station? of an ancient civilization can be found in the desert. Word has it that fabulous treasures of untold value lie waiting there. Set off to recover them before others beat you to it. Alright guys, so what I've just done while he was talking then is I've just changed the drop off so that the... the, the vehicles that we had getting the silver from here and dropping it at the headquarters because we don't need to do that we've done that mission now i'm just getting them to drop it at this train station and then this guy can go down all the way and drop the port uh, drop the silver at the port now you saw that he just picked up 10 silver and again he's dropped that 10 silver off here oh it has, it has counted actually that one sorry that's me reading it wrong and now we need to deliver 20 silver to the desert tribe which is up here so these guys, what I want to do now is just manage that line, get rid of Franklin Street. I want to go from a down it up to here. Hopefully that'll be them. Yeah, all, all four of those are coming up here. So as long as this silver mine sees that as a consumer, the Western Desert Tribe wants 100, yes. So this fast forwarding, we're still on fast forward, so this now should just carry it. 
But again, we'll see if well, we'll see what happens here. Or actually, we've got a bonus mission as well. Shall we have a look at this? Set off to recover them before others do. A British archaeologist has already set out to search for the ancient stone fragments from Carchemish. Beat her to it and find the city of ruins in the desert. The remnants of an ancient settlement. Maybe even the cradle of civilization. Who knows what kinds of valuable artifacts lie slumbering beneath this pile of rubble and ruins. What are the chances again, guys, just where we happen to be at that time? We just see that we just see that question data, mark appear. No artifacts can be found. Maybe the British lady was faster in the end. On the other hand, the excavation crew struck an oil well that's gushing away for all it's worth nearby. That's not bad either. Yes, it's another bonus mission done. It looks like the first guy's dropped off and he has had all five. Is this guy? Yeah. See, so at this end, all five are counting. So all I can think is, before we actually owned that train line at the bottom, somehow that was getting some of the silver we were delivering, I think. Because we saw it on the platform after. That's the only thing I can think of where that silver was disappearing to. Now that the civil servants and Brits are occupied, you could devote yourself to more important things. There are vast amounts of crude oil in the desert. This stuff makes it possible to drive an automobile, a newfangled recent invention from a fellow German. But the fact is, the new rulers of the Ottoman Empire are pretty shady figures. So get moving and secure access to the oil fields. Then organize transport for the oil. The more machines, the quicker the pace. And that goes for completing the Baghdad railway and for extracting crude oil. And the quicker the better. Things are slowly getting creepy. Right, guys, so we need to deliver machines to the oil well. And then... Okay, machines to the oil well and to the base camp. 25, okay, so what we need is down here... I'm going to pause it just so they don't put the game doesn't put a building in. But what we actually need to get now is a truck depot in here. And now, if we're smart about it, what we can get is from this truck stop here. We actually cancelled that route, didn't we? So these guys here, we don't need to be dropping silver off up there anymore. So we'll change this line back again. We want to start at Adana North with a full load of silver. Okay, and we want to drop that off down at the station here. No, I've just absolutely ruined that. Let me start this route again, just to make sure what I want to do here is right. So we want a full load up here at Adana, and we only want to load up on silver. We will unload everything else. Okay. Now, when we get down here, we want to unload the silver. I want to make this clear what it does. Unload silver. We want to load up the machines that the train's bringing back. Okay, so what will happen then is we'll, the machines will then get dropped off up here. At which point we need a line in here. I'll just put it off the main road so it doesn't interrupt this line going through. And then we need to drop some off up here. So where do we need the most? We only need 25 up to the oil well. So we could do them separately, but I'm not going to bother because it's, it's not an issue. I'm going to put... Or actually, we don't want too many waiting around, though. So I'll put two on a new line from here and hopefully it picks the right depot it has uh, to here just to start bringing that 50 and I'll tell it to wait for a full load and we only want it to load machines okay don't want it to unload anything we just want it to load and then at Pine Street we want it just just unload okay that's fine so that is machines delivery one okay and then I want another line it goes from here, and I will add an extra um, cargo dock onto that in a minute. But again, at Adana North, we want to go full load indefinitely. We want to load machines. We can unload everything else, and then here we'll just unload. Okay, and that's going to be machines delivery too. And then we're going to need some vehicles on those lines. 
Did I just put? I did put some on machines delivery one. Okay, I'm going to put three here on machines delivery two. But what I want to do before I hit play is on here. I want to add another cargo dock, and then I want to move machines delivery two over because that's got the three vehicles. It shouldn't block anything else because it's a further distance. I've put the three onto that one. So hopefully now that I'll understand what's going on and the way we can make sure is to click on this factory and see who the consumers are. So it does know that the Western oil well, which I'm guessing is this guy, it is. At the minute it wants none, it says. Base camp, it says none. So we've designed the trucking routes to deliver it from the train. The only other thing we need to do is make sure that this train line that we didn't actually put in is set up to go. And he, he has the ability to bring machines back. And what carriages does he have? Ah, uh, he has these gondolas. So at the minute, he can't even carry... We need the gondolas for the silver, but we don't need the oil at the minute, do we? At the moment, we don't need oil, but we do need boxcars. There you go. So now, he has the ability... What I'm going to do as well is just stick another say five onto the original silver delivery line just to keep that silver flowing down to here just so we're making a decent amount of um, material so this guy now has the ability to bring silver down he can bring silver in the flat cars and then in the box cars he can bring back the machines so that's perfect hopefully we'll start seeing that happen i mean what i should do really is at the top line not the harbor at the other line we go full load any, and we just want to tell him to load up. And then at the, at the harbour here, we just want him to load machines, but we won't tell him for full just in case there's a discrepancy. Here we know eventually, because the, the wagons are dropping it off, he will definitely be able to get a full load of silver. And that full load any, I'm not really used, so I just want to make sure that it works how I'm thinking. So once he is completely full of silver, and we get another wagon come down. I think he's already filling in the back. He's not. We should be able to get that eight plus the four. We need another 12, so we need another three wagons to come down and deliver here. And I'm hoping what that lo full load of any means, if it's full, means that if the train's full of any product, it will go. I'm hoping that's what it means. Looks like we're still hurting here for these new vehicles haven't come through yet, that's right. They're all just starting to pick up now. So once these guys get back, this train will now wait for these. Because there's 12, it'll be the first three of those. Once they've dropped off, it'll go down. And then machines, it looks like, yeah, it's one silver into one machine. If this guy can carry, how much is it? 32 in total. 32 silver, it'll make 32 machines. So that'll come back, and then those will get distributed back on the next bunch of wagons that come down, and it'll get split between these two lines then. Hopefully now we've changed the consist on that train. This should kick in and start to think it can it can make these machines. Unless I've done something drastically wrong here somewhere. I do believe that's how it should work. At the annex he's loading machines, yeah. This train, we manage this line. At the cargo station, it's loading silver, and at the harbour, it's loading machines. That's right to me, he's now got his 32 silver. Just, just double check these, just because nothing's happening yet, and I'm thinking maybe I've messed something up. That one's fine. And this guy here, machines delivery, will manage that line. He just wants to load on machines, that's fine. But this guy's actually gone on his way, so has he just dropped some off? Or have these not got a weight indefinitely on them? They don't have weight indefinitely on them, that's why. I wondered why I see I knew there was two vehicles on that line, I was wondering why only one was sat there. But that's why. The only thing you have to be careful about with telling them to wait, guys, is that they don't block this entrance. The, the reason I've only had two here, I mean, it looks like we could have fit a third one on the end. But if we had sort of four, it breaks into here, it stops these guys for the silver being able to come in. 
And then that obviously means that they will never move because they're never going to get the machines. Ah, there we go. Now you can see the machines have started to appear on this platform. That will mean that this factory now, yes, the factory now knows that it can it can continue all the way, get the machines all the way to the end destination. It's one telltale sign that you've got a problem in your line somewhere. If you've connected everything together, or you believe you've connected everywhere together, but the factory doesn't have the consumers, the factory here should, you should be able to see the supplier. So the Adana silver mine, where the silver's originating from, then it'll show you the consumers. So basically who who is receiving that. And on the normal game mode, say this was they were cities instead, and you, you could have another three cities here that all just said shipping zero. But the, because you've not connected them up yet, you can at least see where is demanding them. But once it shows you that the once that zero changes to a figure, it knows that that's how much it's asking for and how much can be delivered to that city. But you do need the infrastructure all in place. But that's a good place to start if something isn't working. Is just look through your factories and um, resources on the way and make sure that everything's linked up. And if, say, if you've got grain going to a farm, but it's not getting delivered to the town, and look at that farm. So say this. Say we were having grain delivered into this, and this was a farm. What I'd do is look at the consumers. And if I had, you know, trucks going into a town, but I might have trucks that can only carry fuel. And I think, why isn't it? Why have we got no number here? Then you look at the line that's taking it to there. Just something to be aware of. It's helped me a few times doing that. Just breaking things down. And it's always good if you've got a problem in this game to work through it methodically. Try and find out where the issue is. I think it's these guys bringing, to, bringing machines back now. This, this guy is here, so I think this is the first delivery of five machines. be interesting to see what he does with these, because we've told these other guys to wait for a full load. I don't know if it'll give all five to just one of them. It has done. It's given all five to this guy. So what that means is, if it's going to prioritise that line, what we need to do is, because this camp here needs 50, if that goes for, gets full first, we'll change these two vehicles over onto the other line. Is it going to give some? This time it's split because we've got three over here, so that this should fill him up now. There we go. I mean, it, we do only need 25 up there, so we've got these three guys carrying 15 each. So two runs each, and they'll, they'll be full. Starting to get some built up here already. That's always good to see. He didn't drop any off, so the train, the train mustn't have bought the, the complete full load back. How many have we got waiting down here? 31. The train can carry 32, yeah. See, what we can't do is tell these guys to wait for a full load here, because if they come down and there is none, it then completely stops the silver supply down, stops us from making any more. The first 10 are about to arrive up the top there. Yes, I think there was two two vehicles one after the other that came back then with no machines and then we're starting to get more machines back again now. This guy's full. So yeah, the guy here, he's going to pick those two machines up. And then there's going to be a gap before this train gets back with some more. Well, that's not an issue. Doyle Wells had all 10. This base camp's had 15. That's going to go up to 20 now with this guy coming down the road. Looks like it's just a waiting game now, guys, until that gets delivered. But yeah, as always, guys, let me know if you've played through the, uh, the campaign. Let me know what you think of it, if there's any particular missions you got stuck on. I know I've already made a couple of shorts videos to help people out with some of the more challenging areas of the campaign, the ones that took me a little while to think of. And I might even, the one that we did earlier on in this video that was up over on the hill with the contours, I might stick a, a little shorts video up for that. Just a little how-to guide sort of thing. 
I know one of the most popular videos on this channel is one of those videos. It's um, on the Scottish Campaign Mission 3, I believe it is, where we did this star puzzle, Craig Nardone, I think it's called. It took a little while to figure out. All you had was the clue where it said, look to the stars, and you know, just had to make the route look like it was stars. But yeah, there's a few um, a few that I've found along. There's another one digging up gemstones on the uh, Trans-Siberian Express map. That was another one that took a bit of thinking about. Or it was quite, it wasn't immediately um, obvious where to look to complete it. So there's a couple like that. And I think it's the first thing people do nowadays if they get stuck is, and, is just bang it in Google quickly. And uh, most of my views now on those two videos have come from external links from YouTube, which is... It really shocked me actually when that was the case. It, obviously, people have just typed it in Google. There we go. We can see now that this deliver machines to the oil well is actually complete. So that's this route here. So if we manage those vehicles and we put all of those onto line one instead, and they can all help drop uh, drop the silver off over here. It looks like one, another one has just left, actually. It has there, so as soon as this guy leaves, that's that one done as well. He's leaving now, so that's not an issue. That's that one complete. It should roll through in a minute, and then we'll get an update and get our next mission. We've done one, two, three, four, five. So once this will be, will be the last part of the mission, I believe, and there's normally three bonuses. Despite all the digging, no artifacts can be found. I didn't mean to click that. Apologies. Maybe the British to that lady again. was faster in the end. On the other hand, the excavation, the necessary machines have arrived. The Baghdad railway can finally be completed. Okay, so complete the line between Regli and Adana. So we are going through the mountain. Now this was the whole point of the mission to start with, guys. If you remember. We are connecting Baghdad up with Istanbul. So how it wants me to do this. I'm actually really unsure. Does it want me to... Oh, I mean, I mean it works. It goes straight through. I mean, that'll do for me. We are approaching Time to quickly pump out a few the hour mark. So. Of oil and then get out of here. I do want to double track it though, just so yeah, we've done it. We've done it properly. Now it wants me to transport me just before I forget. Put a few signals at different points along this line. Now I'm, I'm not very clued up, guys, on like real life railways. Would there be signalling in in Delight a tunnel? The Sultan with an exclusive Pullman car so that he continues to view your project favorably. Naturally, the car's interior requires a special decor, tailored precisely to His Majesty's needs. Right, now this one, guys, will be the last bonus, so because we're on to the last normal mission, I'll do this one first just to make sure we have covered off all the bonus tasks, so we'll accept this one. The Sultan prefers to rest on a purple divan couch. They say chances are good to find one in Aleppo. Buy a Pullman car and bring it to the station in Aleppo. We get the train that's going to Aleppo already. We manage that vehicle. We edit that. And we saw this earlier, if you remember. We just add the passenger car on. Yeah, there you go. So that's the Sultan's car in the back. So when this train makes its return journey, it should automatically complete that one for us. So we need to transport crude oil to Konya, and where's the crude oil site? Oh, so we do need that machine's line back up. But now that one's done, all of those vehicles on machine's delivery line 1, all go to uh, machine's delivery line 2. I just want to make sure that these clear this, uh, clear the deadlock here. It's actually building up, so it will do anyway. Right, let me pause the game because I feel like here what's going to happen is I want to turn around all of these vehicles. If they all start to bring oil up straight away, there'll be no demand here because this oil well isn't connected at the other end. 
So what we want to do is transport fuel to, so we've set up the train line now going through the mountain. So we only need a single, a single station. If we can just get this connected to this to the factory here. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to place the second one. We'll get rid of that. Just to check this is connected. Yep, it's highlighted white, so that is connected. And then we want to connect it with a track. And there's no other transport going through this way yet, so we can sort of just connect in wherever we need to. And then after that, we'll go through these points. Oh, I don't like the look of that front of that bridge. Um, at the minute, I'm just trying to think. We need to deliver it all the way to Konya, so it'll stay on the right-hand track here. And then what we need it to do is come back. I'm going to put a little branch over here. And I'll show you why now. That's because we want our train to start down here and load with fuel at the station. Set that now. We want a full load, unlimited time waiting. And once it's going to come down here, it can only get onto the right hand side track. It's going to come all the way along here. Stay on the right because this passenger route travels on the right anyway. It's on the right side here following that train. It'll get to Aleppo, which we need to make a, uh, a distribution system. It has already got a freight stop there, so we'll stop it at the freight there. Then it's going to come back this way, which it is doing. And then it's using that switch over because it can only pull off on the left hand track going that way. It needs that there. It's a case of doing it there or doing it at this end here, but it was a bit too congested at this end. Because there's no other traffic going down that way, that'll do for us at the, for the minute. And now what I do want to make sure is that if I click on where needs goods, that this, yeah, this station's got the fuel uh, in its range, if you like. So what I think we'll do is we'll start the train from this end. To send it on the track. We want the most powerful trains. Let's say how much we need to deliver 40. But because we know what this game's like, and it doesn't always count everything, the ranking, as you can see for the train at the bottom here, is good. If we take two of those off, that's excellent at 90 capacity. So I'm going to send that, put it onto line one. And then I actually want to start the clock so everything's running. We'll change that and that. Oil delivery to Aleppo. So now, guys, that train should come come out here. Have I put the wrong train on that? A delicate I porcelain tea set is essential. The car is supposed to be furnished with this in Adana. There we go. Somehow managed to put the. Uh, PLM on it instead of the A35, but bring the carriage to Adana. So let's see, the car is supposed to be okay. Why pull my car bring it to Aleppo? Okay, right. So that train now, that does sort of change things because that train route that we just put in. I mean, it only needs to go once, I suppose, so it's not too much of an issue. So we want to go from Aleppo to Adana. Now we need to. I'll bring the carriage to Adana. Let me see. So it's gone to Aleppo, gone to Adana, so it should automatically go to Adana anyway. Am I reading that correctly? The guy's supposed to be furnished with this. Yeah, so as soon as this guy rocks up into Adana There's here. There's something there missing go. without an exceptional carpet. The most magnificent carpets are knotted in Konya. That's what I was expecting to happen just. I don't know why, I just know what the game's like. I thought that's what it'd do. So now it wants us to go to Konya. So I've just paused the game before it registers that it's in this station. And I'm going to tell it that after it's been into Adana, I want it to go all the way up to Konya. And then on the way back, because I'm preempting what it's going to do, I'm going to tell it to stop in a regular again. And then it's going to come all the way back down to Aleppo. We'll tell it to stop again on the back at Adana. Why not? And then it's completely covering that route. So hopefully this guy now, it thinks it's going to... There we go. Konya Cargo Station. We don't want that. That's going to Aleppo Cargo Station, actually. So that's an error. But we want to go to Konya Passenger Station. And then this one at the top, Aleppo Cargo. 
After Adana, we want to go to... There we go. I bet that train... We haven't looked... This is one of the things with it being the campaign mode and we've got nothing but money. I haven't been checking the finance, but I bet that's been losing a fair chunk of money. <laughs> it has. As well as this train having two trains on it for some reason. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but it looks quite cool, so I think we'll leave that. Gonna get the oil there in, in record time anyway. Now you see, that only just started registering that it could have fuel ready as this train arrived in the station. Oh, we're looking down here now. We've got a train coming back with some machines. We have the East of the Woods. Just a waiting game now for that one, guys. What I might do is once this has got the 40, I'll send it on its way anyway. Just in case it does count, because it's going to be slow going waiting for this, I believe. not sure why this guy oh I do know why this guy hasn't worked actually if I turn this around I tell it to go to send it to Adana that's because when we were changing the stations around uh, we'll just let it go on its way as I was changing stations around from the cargo it registered its next stop as a regly so it's just gone to a regly and come straight back it hasn't actually made it to the end of the line yet but on this next pass through now, what it should do is come all the way down to the bottom here. And then it'll go all the way up to the top end of the map, stopping everywhere on the way. I don't know if we told it on the way up to stop at a regularly. We didn't, but it's not a problem. Uh, maybe it works, actually. I might have been mistaken there. I thought it was stopping at the, the, the cargo platform. But that's just the name of the station because this time on both of those I definitely clicked uh, the, the passenger side of it but we should see it now so it should stop here and the next stop should be on you after this one we should complete that next stage of the mission yeah you can see at the bottom here from your cargo station now this tunnel entrance looks horrific I wouldn't let that slide if we were on our own map doing it but because we just need the one trip through here I don't mind letting it slide after the campaign. It is weird how sometimes it happens. It's happened again there and there. I think it's because we've dragged this through on that one and probably the one behind, yeah. I think because we've dragged that one line through, it's done it as, as one piece of track. I think it just make, means that that's what's sort of... Um, it's done that on every single one on the way through because it's the same line. Now this guy here is actually waiting for a free path. Oh, no, he's not. I did hear him hit the brakes, but he must have been waiting for someone else to clear the station. We can clear through all the way up now. All the way up to Kanye, and that should finish this one off as well then, guys. What a sumptuous Pullman car. It would almost be worthy of the German Emperor. That may be, but unfortunately, the Sultan doesn't have the slightest interest in travelling by train. He prefers a sedan chair. <laughs> okay, well that's the last bonus mission done for this level, guys. So we just need to finish off with this crude oil now. And if we've got 40 on the train, which we haven't, we've still actually only got four. But these guys are starting to flood in now. That is the machine's line too, isn't it? Yep. Anybody else bringing some machines? Not yet, not yet. We always have the gap of two. Machines waiting down this end again. Yes, there is. I think I'll just do something here we probably should have done earlier and we'll just clone that line. It seems to be... Ideally, we don't want this train to ever be waiting for vehicles to come in and we, we want every one of these vehicles to have machines waiting. But at the minute, the train's waiting and that's stopping the flow of machines coming back. 
So we've just sent another wave of vehicles up to get some silver ore and that should kick it into action a bit a bit quicker. These guys are into 15, it's going to go up to 20 with that last delivery I think. Another 5 in here. You can see slowly as these tick down they'll be ticking straight into the train here. There you go, so that's consumed 20. We've got 23 on board on the train now, we need just the same again to keep us going. Have you got some machines for us? You have. Perfect, if you can fill that guy up. There we go, hopefully all these guys are rolling in with machines now. And then here's the new the new wave of people picking up silver, so that's going to slow us down again a tiny bit while they get going, but... At least the next vehicle in to go up there, which it hasn't actually slowed them down, he's managed to come in and pick those five up. He'll pick those up and be straight on his way, he might have to stop here, but... No, the game's not built like that by the look of it, I was just letting him go straight through. This guy's going to have some machines on him, so he'll drop them off for this guy as soon as he gets to the front. Luckily, that's worked out that there isn't too much of a delay, actually, guys. It's actually worked out all right. These guys on the way back up here. How many did we have on the train? 23. That's 5, 10, 15, and 20. So once this guy gets back, we should have over the 40. We can send that train on his way if there is one just behind, which there is. I will just wait until this guy's gone and we finish processing the ore, just so we've got a little bit over. It just saves running the risk of having to do a whole new train journey for no need. If we missed out by two at the other end, then wouldn't be very impressed with it. Hopefully these guys can get it delivered for us, we can get this mission done and that, and that will be the end of chapter one guys of the campaign. I really do enjoy playing the campaign missions. I think it, it just adds another another level to the game. You're doing, you know, you're doing tasks for a reason. Instead of just thinking, oh, that looks like a good farm to connect up, or that looks like a nice route. You're doing it with the story behind it and for a reason, sort of thing. I really like that part of it. I think that makes it a lot more interesting. But I get some people aren't too into that, or obviously if you. If you play the game yourself and you've already played through the campaign and you sort of see what's coming, and you already know what's going to be coming up, so I could, I could understand why that could ruin it for some people. We'll board this guy backwards all the way to Aleppo. It's a long old, it's a long old way, that. Not to Aleppo, sorry, all the way up to Konya at the end. From Baghdad to Istanbul, going backwards. But I'm hoping we can have a nice smooth run all the way here without having to stop for anybody. This guy's now saying he's waiting for a free path in the tunnel here again. Just for the sake of it, I'll pop another signal up here, let him, let him come up to this area. I think it was that guy's just gone through that, that signal there, I think that's what's... Because he must have been pulling off slowly from the station. There you go, we're on the way through. And once he arrives, that's ho I'm hoping you can see here we've got 47 oil on board crude oil even so I'm hoping that once we drop that off it should it should trigger this 40 as long as none of it gets absorbed to anywhere else we should be good the engineering marvel has been completed but you're so homesick it hurts see to it that you hurry back to Germany there we have it guys that's the end of uh, chapter one so if you've enjoyed it please don't forget to hit the like button it really helps me out and it sends it out to more people helps the channel grow if you're interested in seeing the the next stage of the campaign chapter two please let me know in the comments otherwise it's unlikely that i'll be doing it but i don't mind if there's a few people out there that want to see it um, as always thank you for joining me and i'll catch you in the next video